I also the last high school DXT, but don't worry, we're back. We got four more episodes to wrap up this season, which is going to be peak episodes back to back to back to back. I think that's what people are saying, because we're about to go into the rating game against Sidor. This guy has been hyped up to the fucking limits, and I think I actually want him to win over Issei, because if you think about whose dreams matter more, whose goals, I think it's Sidor. He's trying to fucking fight for his dead, like dying mother. He's trying to prove himself without any magic power in, in a world where magic demon power is everything. He's still doing it brute force and then you got isa here just trying to fucking grab a titty i feel like sidewalk deserves it more anyways let's begin today's reaction yes yes you heard her because you he kept calling her butcho yes that's what she did you dumbass oh i think he's saying that she sees me as a man that's what he's realizing yes okay my bad yes he's right about this yes 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 yeah, a lot of the sides of them booty cheeks and ass. Wow, he's not saying titties. Glamour, here we go. Glamour is safe. Nice word for titties. Oh, oh, oh a little bit more descriptive. Yo, I kind of like this monologuing from Issei while the soundtrack is playing. Makes this anime a little bit more serious to me. Yes, and she wants you. Just do it! Just call her by her first name! Why don't you just do it? Dense main characters in harem shows, man. God damn it. Overthinking, dude. Akino. Time to cheat on Ria so that. <laughs> why are they already in display? Why, why, why are they just out already? No, you haven't. Why, why, why is... Why are they already naked? Usually we have some prep time. What the fuck? Wait, why, 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 why is everybody showing their titties all of a sudden? How does... I don't know. The... We should do boobylicious right now. No, no, the... The, uh, the reading the booba. Ill as in... I think we're about to get a nudu nudu massage. I think he he's straight up about to get massaged by everybody. What kind of healing does she mean? She just sits on Issei's lap and it's called like healing. Koneko used to sage. You you can't tell me it's sage arts. All she does is get into this cat girl mode and she fucking gives him a lap dance. And you call that sage arts? Nah, bro. What are you talking about? Oh, Yuma. Yuma. But I thought this was cured. The darkness in his heart, wasn't that cured? Well, no, no, that was season three shit where Loki cursed him. I'm not really sure in season four. <laughs> Say what you will about Yuma, I like her a lot. Her design's crazy. Cap! Cap! So you're telling me this trauma from Yuma is holding I Issei back from calling Rias Rias. I tell him to fucking stop being a bitch, but then she actually did kill him. She did kill Asha. We did punch her. All of this happens, so if you think about it, Asha is actually quite big. I never... I, I, I underestimated Asha's game. She's actually stacked. I'm still on team Akino, to be honest. I would cheat 100% on Rias with Akino. So, like, if you think about it, what just happened? All the girls got naked and gave Issei just, like, a fucking booby massage and a lap dance. But, like, it's important to, like, cure his, like, trauma with Yuma. So, like, this is a very intimate and vulnerable moment. So, like, say what you will about High School DxD. This is actually a nice moment, but then you realize there's fucking titties everywhere, and you're like... When will that happen, though? Is this gonna happen during the raiding game? Will it happen after? Oh, are we about to get more Ravel fan service? We got it last episode, too. Jesus Christ. That is Ravel, right? Am I crazy? It's, it's the curls. Is that a different girl? I'm not really sure, actually. LeFay? That's LeFay? Okay, not Ravel, not Ravel. But, like, Sidor is probably gonna lose, right? There's no way Issei doesn't win here. He has to win. And Ria's still giving us the cold look. Yikes. Yikes. And the politics stuff is... It's pretty interesting, yeah. So the girl we saw in the cutscene was Ravel's mom, right? Ravel's mom versus Ria's mom. Ria's mom just wins through sheer voluptuousness. Oh, what the fuck? Who are these dudes? Skeletons? Oh, there was a necromancer on their team, wasn't there? Oh, isn't that from Overlord? Is he the right? Oh, okay, this is Sir Hades, never mind. Okay, bro is also an Overlord. He hates devils and fallen angels. Interesting. Damn, he actually called us crows. The bird of my channel. Ooh. 
He, he hates both the Vanishing and the Wealth Dragon. Well, I don't know if they hate, but he's, he's pretty like, fuck every one of you. I'm just here for fun. So is he like season 5 content? What is this guy? Okay. Again, this show... It, like, it, it started with angels, fallen angels, devils, dragons. Then it's like fucking mythological beings. We got all fucking like, like, uh, what, what's the word? Um, uh, um, um, uh, fuck. I, I, I'm, I'm having trouble thinking about the word Norse mythology, right? Norse mythology. And now we have fucking like, is, is this Greek mythologies, right? This is pretty cool. Cause I'm thinking, you know, with the way that the factions are, we're going to run out of content, but then it's like, nah, we're just going to bring in any type of new mythologies and just put it in here. So Poseidon, Hades, fucking all of that shit's all going to happen too. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. He's the O oh, he got a haircut too. The OV is canon, right? So he's totally reformed. Even his eyes. I think the main thing about um his the way that he looks shitty before Riser is the eye lines, right? But the eye lines are gone now. And suddenly his eyesight, like if you look at his face now, he doesn't look like a douchebag, right? But then again, this is season four design. I don't think we've seen a Riser season four design. Maybe it's just that. Totally different just model. Damn! Yo! Hold on! This is support for us? Yo, what the? He just looks like a bar host right now. Like the rank one host at a host bar. He's giving us like an encouraging speech too. <laughs> He's straight up called her family trash. He tried to fucking take Rhea. He tried to fucking force a wedding, bro. He straight up just murked us in season one. And now he's like, I believe your talent is what has gathered your family here. Before, he, she was nothing to him. This character development is crazy. Ever since the OVA, dude. This is wild. What a redemption. Still fucking his sister, though. I don't care. We're still fucking Rainbow, though. Damn. <laughs> Why is bro talking like this? This is so weird. <laughs> Dude, he's so wholesome now. Dub character development. Oh, from the OVA or season one? Damn! Play that one more time, yo! Moments like this is one of my favorite tropes in Shonen-esque uh, series. Like, this is when someone that's supposedly stronger or a little bit more mature that's been in the game, you know, tells a rookie, I'll be waiting for you to surpass me. I'll be waiting. Come on. Oh my god. This shit is so hype. Is he an endgame enemy in the future? Am I... Looking down on Riser too much, technically he's undefeated in the rating games. Hold and like if you think about it in the OVA. Wait, holy fuck. I, I think my um Twitch just crashed. Hold up. And if you think about it. Oh, I just got banned. I just straight up got banned, guys. I just straight up got banned. I'm not gonna stop streaming right now, but I guess high school DXD. I guess high school DXD, we're gonna have to wait on um. Uh, High school Dixie streams. I, it is what it is. You know what? I'm gonna continue the finish the reaction by myself. All right. So, message movie. The Opai Dragon. We gotta win for the kids, bro. We gotta win for the kids. Aww. I don't know about the poke poke ah noise they make, but you know. Aww. This is nice. Yes, they are. Oh? Oh, the here we go. Well, I don't think it's gonna happen in this episode. Well, I don't know. There's a decent bit left. 
What kind of advice is that pumpkins? What does pumpkins do? Is she gonna be ch Oh lord, she's wearing the fucking church bonded suit. Here we go, squad up! Okay, Irina can't be too risky. Oh, is that? I don't know who that was. Was that the king? Or maybe the Lord Bile? <laughs> For a comment, he looks very flamboyant. He looks very fun. Who though? Fuck is that? Okay, everybody loves him. Alright. Oh. Belial! That's Belial! Okay, damn. Hmm. Ooh, look at Cyborg's team, bro. Yeah, oh, okay, roll the dice to start the game, sure. Uh, sure, roll the dice and the value of an evil piece will align. So, like, because he's stacked... Okay, only one piece at a time, but he says eight points, that's kind of stacked, so it's unique. Protect the king or you lose. Okay, okay, these are simple rules. Too many rules being bar bombarded on me, I just want to see the fight. Okay. Without a maximum rule, he can't participate. Too many rules right now. Okay, one Senzu bean for everybody, though. Are we actually gonna get a bit? Uh, there's a little bit left of the anime episode. Maybe like two minutes. Let's see a brief clash. Ravel and Irina cheerleaders. Who got the high roll? Oh, I, we got higher. They're for only a bishop or knight. Ooh. Kiba, get in there. <laughs> they censored the mouth so that they, they can't be like you mouth reading. Alright. If Kiba takes an L the first man, that's gonna be a little disappointing, but come on. Nah, I'd win moment, maybe? We'll see. Will Kiba fight another sword master? Oh, it's an empty field. Damn. Who is it? Seems like he has like a spear. Wow! The girls love him! This dude has a fucking horse and armor! That's not fair! That's a lot of bullshit. All eyes are on them. This is getting pretty hype. But like, we're gonna get a cliffhanger as soon as it starts, right? Fuck. It's gonna be a cliffhanger, dude. Fuck me. No, don't do it. Don't! Alright, that's the episode. Now, we're, the next couple episodes are gonna be super high. I mean, technically, the first bit of this episode was just pure fan service, right? With just a bunch of titties, but, like... Cool thing is the riser development out of fucking nowhere. Like, wow. I guess the OV really just slapped him up in place. And he's, like, supporting us. That's crazy. And? And? We got the important figures here, as well as, like, Sir Zeus. Like, e even Greek mythology is being mentioned, which is really cool that the world's keeping on expanding. We got a bunch of rules that I'm not too sure with, but basically, Dice Roll figures out, you know, what kind of units are allowed to be played. And the first match is going to be Kiba. We're going to obviously start off a little bit slower, but then eventually going to get stronger. Like, imagine if Gasper has a 1v1. I don't even know how he would do that, but we'll see what happens. But hey, three more episodes of DXD, and we'll be there to watch. Technically, I'll be watching by myself, because... I just got fucking banned on Twitch for watching DXD, but hey, it is what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists. Oh, other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.